for another video with your girl, Shalund One. Okay guys, so I wanted to bring you a quick review on some hair that you guys asked me to review. I got so many requests, Shalunda. Can we, can you have, do, is there a company that you can recommend with some hair that actually look like, like I could have been born with it? Like my mama didn't like really give it to me, but like she could have. So I did that and I found this hair here. And this is Brazilian kinky straight hair. And if you look close enough, you can see the kink. It definitely is kinky. I did flat iron the hair, but the hair itself definitely has a kink. If you look underneath, you can really see it like right up in here. It almost looks like it's a braid out, you know, so it has the texture of your natural coils. This is their natural color, kinky straight Brazilian virgin human hair extensions. Say that five times. They sent me three bundles. I have two 18s, a 16, and a 16 inch closure. Um, first thing I will say, this is some of the thickest hair I have ever worked with. So by all means, you do not need three bundles at all. You will really only need two because the hair, I had to go back and actually remove some pieces because it was just a little bit too thick. And I love thick, don't get me wrong. I love thick, voluminous hair, but I mean, come on, you don't want it to be too ridiculous on you. I did, when I first got it, I did wash it, shampoo, same way I do any hair, and I let it air dry. And the kinks, oh, well, let me show you how it, how it comes packaged. This is what it looks like. As you can see at the top, you can see the kinks in it. And then at the bottom, it definitely gets more, um, what do you consider it? Like just straight at the ends. Now as you wash it, and the longer you wear it, that kink kind of does go away. But for the most part, it keeps some form of a kink to it. Um, the hair is super soft. You can definitely tell it was washed prior to it coming to me because there's nothing hard about it. Like sometimes you get hair and it's hard, the wefts be hard. That was not the case. The wefts on this one, however, I noticed, I don't think they were sealed, but they feel sealed. So you probably say, well, maybe they were sealed. The reason why I'm saying that is because usually you can tell, you can feel the sealant. These, these the wefts was just well crafted. The wefts are really good, and as I kept trying to make when I was making this wig, trying to put my um, needle through it, it gave me some resistance, which is a good thing. The problem with this hair is that it's super thick. So be mindful of that. And then two, this hair does not hold a curl. So the other day I tried to like curl it, curl it, and within, and I didn't even leave out the house, within about three, four hours, the curls really did start to drop. So in this um, weather, I would be kind of nervous to walk outside with this hair as far as it keeping a curl. Now, what I will say about this hair is that I think every natural should have some, especially if you are a weave wearer, should have something like this in their arsenal because this hair is great for buns, twists, all those good things. Look how natural, look how natural this hair looks, right? You take this and create you a bun, you see what I'm saying? It's not crazy different hair. It looks blown out natural hair, sorry. It just looks like blown out natural hair. And I have worn it in a bun, really, really enjoyed it as a bun. Um, I actually really, really enjoy it as a unit as well. I think it's blending in quite nicely in my edges. Um, I have to say, I don't hate the hair or anything like that. It is rather inexpensive, so if you're a person just like, you know, you're a mom who, the person who reached out to me, you're a mom of three. So this would be decent amount of hair if you want to venture into something like this. I don't know how long, how much longevity you're gonna get with this hair. If I had to give it a shelf life, I probably wouldn't give it over six months with care. Now, of course, go to the website. If there's any other follow-up information, I'll have that link below. But go to the website, read up on it, and maybe they have more accurate details on 
how long the hair should last, but in just my professional opinion, it doesn't have over a good six month shelf life um, if you're trying to wear this on a regular basis. As far as like uh, shedding, I haven't gotten a lot of shedding at all, but I already kind of addressed that when I was talking about the West. The West was really good. The way I made this unit, I did do the crossover method, and I did make it on a dome cap. This is the lace closure, but the lace actually worked out pretty well, I have to say. It lays down great. You guys know how I make my units. I always um, install an adjustable strap in the back. So this way my units lay down really nice and tight and it ain't going nowhere. If you're interested in this hair, it's beautiful hair, that's for sure. I definitely like it, um, probably more for like the bunning aspect, absolutely love it. But on those days when I want juicy, a juicy hair unit that looks natural, it looks like it actually could come out of my head. You know, because it has such a natural feel. It literally looks like a, like I took my natural hair, blow dried it, and if it was this long, it would look like this. Definitely head over to the website. The link is in my description if you're interested. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's inexpensive. You won't be disappointed. It's not necessarily like you're just wasting money. Once again, this is an investment. So take care of it, and it should take care of you. I love you guys so much. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to leave any comments, questions, or concerns below in the comment section. And I will be sure to get to them as soon as I possibly can. Not showing why I'm doing this, but it just felt right. <laughs> be sure to check out my description box for any links. Make sure you go follow me at Shalinda1 on Instagram and Twitter and all those different places. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the very next video. Mwah! Bye guys.